Welcome to the weekly fitness challenge. My name is Mindy and for the next three weeks we're going to be using the gliding discs. One of my favorite pieces of equipment because they engage your muscles through the full range of motion of every exercise we do. We're going to do two exercises, four minutes long. We're also going to be using my Tabata timer. So 20 seconds on as hard as you can go and then 10 seconds rest. 20 seconds on again. Okay, this is all for strength, legs and core. All right, you're gonna need one gliding disc to begin with. Now, if you don't have gliding discs, no worries. I'll show you how to do the exercise without. You put the ball of your foot on the disc, the heel is off the back, the heel is your break and also your push off point. If you don't have the discs, you do the same movement, just moving back and moving forward. But if you have the discs, your muscles are always engaged, out and pulling in. We're gonna stay low for this, pulling in and pulling out, engaging the core, using all the muscles of the hamstring and the gluteals, 20 seconds as hard as you can go, then 10 seconds rest, then we'll switch to the other side, okay? If you're a beginner, just take it a little slower. If you're an advanced participant, well, guess what? You go as fast as you can go. All right, Tabata timer, here we go. 10 seconds to prepare. Here we go. Getting as low as you can. Back is very straight. Head to heel, one straight line. On your marks, get set, go. In and out, in and out, in and out. So what's happening here is you're holding your muscles for a period of time under tension. We call that touch training, where your hamstring is working and your glutary glute gluteals are firing. Woo, you got five seconds to go. Four, three, two, and one. Wow, all right, shake it out. Whew. These exercises look like nothing, but they are major. Okay, switch legs. Here we go, and begin. In and out, in and out, in and out. Good, so you stay low, you extend your back leg as far as you can. Come on, whew. If you don't have the discs, no problem. Just plant your leg back and pull your leg forward. Come on, two seconds to go, one second. Whew. All right, both discs. Now this is all core. It's called a plank slide. So we're gonna go elbow plank, shoulder blades in your pockets, and extend back and pull in. Now this looks like nothing, but it is huge. You feel it the first time, and every time after that, it's even more intense. If you're a beginner, just decrease your range of motion. Ah. Okay, rest for 10 seconds. Now again, if you're just starting with the weekly fitness challenge, maybe just hold that plank and that's okay. Here we go, back and forward. Whew, come on. Bracing the core, that means tightening the front, the sides, and the back of your body. Shoulder blades in their pockets as you do this. Come on, four seconds. Three, two, one. All right, up really fast. Here we go, getting down into the position. Head to heel is one solid straight line, and go. In and out, in and out, in and out. Whew, as fast as you can go, holding your position. I love this exercise because the front leg is loaded, that means you work the hamstring and gluteal of that front leg. Come on, whew and come up, because you want, when you walk out the door, for people to say, damn, look at that butt, right? Okay, here we go, ready, go, in and out, in and out, opposition arm pull as well, core is braced, come on, this is the last time to do this one, in, out, in, out, staying low, do you feel it? I do too, come on, three seconds to go, two, one, Woo. All right, both discs, one under each foot. Elbow plank, hands at your chin, ready? Hands at your forehead, hands at your chin, hands at your forehead, I know. Now most of the time we think working our core or abs, you wanna do crunches, that's kind of the last thing you wanna do. This is one of the best exercises for your core. Two, one, Rest, because you're engaging all the musculature, side, back, and front of your body. Here we go, last time, best time. Back and forward. 
Back and forward. Hang on. Back and forward. Whew, we're almost there. I know you're feeling it, because so am I. Come on. Shoulder blades in their pockets. Three seconds. Two. One. And done. Okay, so you worked your legs while you were bracing your core. You worked your core on the floor. Perfect. Okay. Later this week, I'll show you some bonuses for those two exercises. Great job. Good luck this week.